Hi YouTube and welcome to the second part of uh, how to program the Korg X5D using the sound editor. Last time we did a synth bass sound which was that one there. Now we're going to be looking at synth pads. <laughs> So I'm going to program that now for you, and so we're going to need an INT, so let's have a look. So we're going to need to double that up, and uh, I'm going to lower that saw down on oscillator 2 to 28, like so. Um, create a sort of detail effect now again like we did on the synth bass it's pretty good let's see what a delay does hey, two I'm sure that'll take effect eventually So let's have a look at uh, the amplifier envelope and let's create a sort of pad attack time, which is going to be about 43, I think. So it's kind of got a quick access there. Um, attack level should be about 85. Uh, decay time 64. 85 on the breaking point, 85 on the slope, I'm matching them basically, especially the sustain level. Let's see what that does. Not too loud, you see. Um, and then a nice long release time, say 64 as I usually do it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is look at copying um, the envelope to oscillator 2, like so. And if I then bring in the volume of that, say 28, I don't want it too high. And as you see, we've already set the detune and the delay, so we should have something sounding slightly cool. I'll pan these a little as well. So let's say B3, B4. Let's see what that sounds like. Good, excellent. So, um, obviously our filter, that is our digital filter, <laughs> uh, sounds a bit harsh. So, um, it's a case of um, trimming that. Okay, so let's set the filter. I'm going to have a cutoff of 83. Intensity of 5. So, let's bring in the attack time at 68. So, it's longer than... Uh, the amplifier one. Decay time to 78. Ooh. Decay, so that's attack level. Uh, decay time to 68. I'd say 49 actually, so let's go. We need to go a lot lower than that. It's 49. So breaking point seventy six, slope time seventy one, sustain level again meeting the breaking point seventy six, and then the release time to seventy four, like 
that. And I'll keep the release level at zero. Mm. So let's copy the filter envelope over to the other one, like so, and match the filter to 83. Intensity 5. Press OK on that. So let's actually create a velocity sensitive um, for this pad uh, because, again, I always like sort of not giving the game away too quickly when it comes to my sounds. Uh, I don't know if I need any intensity there. Just use the attack emphasis, and uh, so can't really tell uh, at this point. But um, next thing we need to do is uh, push the filter further down the keyboard, which I always prefer. So I'm going to go minus 33 on this. Not quite as. Um, Aggressors as the synth bass was, that was minus 50, and choose attack. So that's changed quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so let's do the same thing to VDF2. Stall, 33. Attack, attack. I think it was 68. Let me have a look. Oh, wrong one. Yep, 68. So I now bring in that second oscillator at number twen level 28. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Mm, sweet. We're getting close to the end. Okay, so let's put some pitch MG on the actual sound, make it sound a bit thicker. Um, three on the J joystick and two on the AT and J and JS. I think I'll leave that, just match that up. And just leave that. I think it only needs a little bit of modulation there. After touch parameters to. So next thing we're going to do is have a look at the color of oscillator number one. So let's put the intensity up to ninety nine and put the velocity sensitivity up to 62. I'm going to leave oscillator 2 where it is. Okay, now to finish off, let's do some effects. So let's do stereo chorus 2. Let's make that nice and thick. 57. It's quite amazing how much a chorus can really help soar sounds. Soar oscillator, sorry, you know, the, the buzzy thing. Not bad. So that's good. And now we want some reverb. Just a slight amount, 75 should do it. Uh, let's have a nice long, fairly long, let's say 2.8 on that. I quite like uh, the low setting there, so I'm going to keep all that, that's fine. Should sound pretty good now. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to um, 
the velocity here because I've made a mistake and uh, I've got literally no um, envelope generator time at all on this bit here for it to be effective. So uh, I think I'm going to whack that up a little higher as well. Let's say about 78. And in order to really be effective, I think it has to be about 68. Uh, see what they both sound like. Mash them up. I'm going to tweak those. Let's see what that does. I think I quite like that. And I'm also going to match it with the... Uh, amplifier as well but maybe not quite so much um, let's say about No, not quite so much because we want to have some kind of let's try that Hey, much better. What you can do, you see, with Velocity, you can uh, use it as a warm pad. And then suddenly express yourself with it. I'm just going to back that off on the amplifier a little bit more. So let's... Um Trim them by, I don't know, three, four, one, put the same color on the other one you know the oscillator like so let's see what that sounds like mm, no I disagree with myself <laughs> mm. Yes, it needs a bit of guts. Nice, I like that. So you've just got a little, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I forgot that bit. <laughs>